everyone, I'm CK and I'm back for another reaction video. And this reaction video is Sarah Hieronymus' performance during the ASEAN Music Festival held in Japan. And I'm very much excited to react to this video because a lot of our YouTube family members are requesting for this. But this is not just a reaction video because after our performance review, we will also have our CK answers back. So these past few days, a lot of our family members and Twitter friends requested for my insights regarding a specific reaction video posted on YouTube for this performance and I will give my insights about that particular reaction video after our performance review. But before anything else, I would like to thank everyone who prayed for me. Um, I had a very successful uh, surgery two weeks ago so that was my second surgery and I am now on my 90% recovery so thank you so much for all the prayers thank you so much for all the sweet messages and for all the birthday greetings thank you so much i really appreciate that i all love you thanks for all the love and support to all my youtube family members popsters my alliance my family and friends thank you so much so without further ado let's begin with our reaction video all right What a wonderful vibe. I love that. I'm 
having chills right now. Who's wrong? impressed, I'm very much amazed, and I'm so proud of Sarah Hieronimo because as a fan and as a Filipino, it feels nice to see someone represents your country in a music festival and that particular representative brings your country to that festival. So the song choice is perfect because it's very Filipino-ish, most especially the tala. Um, it has this some ethnicity that Filipinos have whenever they perform and it's it's very evident on this particular performance so I love that and also Sarah Hieronima is the perfect representative for this festival because she represents Filipinas very well just like um, most of the Filipinas in the country she is very humble she is very beautiful she is very charming and at the same time she is very talented and very feisty there is this fire in her whenever she performs she changes whenever she's on stage and that's what a Filipina looks like in general so I love that she's the perfect example of a Filipino or a Filipino so 
oh my god, I feel so proud of her. I'm very impressed. I, I was having goosebumps, or I'm having goosebumps right now. Maybe because the performance was very majestic. It was very queenly and very extravagant. So let's talk about the performance review. First, let's talk about Kilometro. What I love about Kilometro or her performance of Kilometro was her vocals were very clear. It was a very crisp. The notes were very powerful even during the low notes. The high notes sounded very resonant. It sounded very crisp and very full. She sounded very relaxed during her low notes, mid notes, and high notes. It seemed like she was not struggling on that particular performance. Her voice or her throat was very neutral. It was very open, which I really liked. And it really showcased the real vocal quality or voice quality of Sarah Hieronimo, which is smooth, resonant, powerful, and very, very full. So the Kilometro performance was over the top. For me, it was her best performance of Kilometro. What I just noticed on that particular performance was the fact that the backup vocals was a bit... I, I feel like there was no backup vocals. So during the parts where there were supposed to be backup vocals, it feels like there was a dead air and it, it just feels a bit or it just felt a bit odd for me. But the good thing about that was Sarah Hieronymus dancing part was very entertaining. So instead of listening to the backup vocals or looking for that backup vocals that we're used to hearing on the album and on her previous performances, we're very much focused and entertained with the way she danced during the Kilometro part. Next, let's talk about the Tala. For me, I also feel that this um, was her best performance of Tala. It looked so sharp. She looked very, um, very sharp on this performance. Everything was on point. The notes were on point. The choreography was executed carefully and very controlled. There is enough energy, not too low but not too high, just enough to entertain the people. It didn't look exaggerated. It just, it just looked very, very real and very crisp. She looked very sleek on this performance. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with her outfit. Her outfit was very sleek on this particular performance. Her movements were very graceful. She was full of swag and ants during the performance. And that dance break never failed us. It, it was awesome. I think G-Force was very genius to come up to, with this kind of, of choreography and this kind of arrangement. It's, it's really for Sarah Hieronimo. This particular song is really meant for Sarah Hieronimo and no one can do this or no one can perform this song as good as Sarah Hieronimo. Overall, I like that. I felt like um, I think the, the negative part on the Tala performance was the fact that, that the backup vocals was was a bit stronger than her vocals. I listened carefully and yes, I noticed that she was singing the entire during the entire song. It's just that, that the backup vocals were um, overpowering her voice, but I can still hear her voice during the Tala performance. Also, I would like to point out that that high note that she hit after the dance break it was awesome. She sounded very consistent on this performance. I didn't feel like she was running out of breath because if I were this person or if singers would sing this particular performance, the Tala performance, I am sure that they would run out of breath because of the dancing, because of the running, and all the choreography. But Sarah did it effortlessly. She sounded very relaxed. She sounded very confident and she was very at ease during the entire performance and imagine after dancing a lot on that particular um dance break part she belted out that big note it sounded very full very powerful and very resonant so i guess of all her performances of this particular song that was the best high note 
Um, it was very full and very powerful. I really, really love that. So overall, for me, Sarah Hieronimo did a great job on this particular performance. The country was well represented and I'm really, really looking forward to having or to seeing more performances of Sarah Hieronimo in the international scene because her talent deserves to be noticed by a lot of people around the world. She is very talented yet very humble and has a really good heart. So I really, really admire um, how Sarah Hieronimo performs in this particular music festival. And I'm happy as a Filipino because there were a lot of good feedback from the Japanese community. My mom was very impressed. My dad was very impressed. They actually watched this particular video and they said that Sarah Hieronimo did a great job. By the way, my mom and dad are based in Japan. And they also said that um, Sarah Hieronimo was featured in a couple of news in Japan. So it makes me really feel proud. Or it makes me feel proud knowing that Sarah Hieronimo was acknowledged. Her talent was noticed because of this music festival.